Hi VC, this is Bev at Clarko Vision and I'm doing another quick update because I went back out to the charity shop that I uh, swung by last night on the way home and I think it was, yeah I walked out with another seven records <laughs> uh, I wanted to go back anyway because I kind of felt I was rushing through everything yesterday and um, time was a bit limited um, so I wanted to go back through and make sure I didn't miss anything uh, check a couple of things out for a couple of people and see if there was anything else I wanted to bring and yes I brought some stuff home so uh, I'll just quickly excuse me I've just not too long had my lunch um, so anyway well, I'll just show you what I brought back um, white snake slide it in UK Press. Uh, this is on Liberty Records, I believe. Uh, 1984, EMI Liberty. Um, this is Ron Haggerty, if you're watching, consider this yours. Um, it's in lovely condition. There's not, nothing major wrong with it. There's no splits or anything in the inner or the outer. Uh, lyrics. Lyrics. Uh, I've actually just put it on and had a listen, so I've given it a bit of a clean up. It plays lovely. I think there's about two clicks just on quiet bits that I heard, which probably will come out with more dust removal. Um, but yeah, the record itself is in excellent condition. Very good plus to X. In fact, excellent. You know, this again, there's, whoever had all these records has really looked after them. So. Um, but yeah, there is the, it's one of these ones where the light just kind of blinds it down a bit, but um, yeah. So, um, manufactured in the UK. So um, what I'll do, Ron, is I was going to, I've been thinking about VCLT for you for a while, so um, if you can uh, give me a wave on Facebook or something at some point. Next one. This one, White Snake again, uh, Slip of the Tongue. Uh, again, UK issue EMI. Um, this one is, is it 1989, this one? 1989, yep. Manufactured in England, it seems. So, um, again, it's in lovely condition. The spine is excellent. The inner lyrics, uh, no splits, there's just a slight mark there, but that's not a slip. Um, and again, the record this one is quite dusty, it's not been played or anything, but yep, yeah, EMI work, white snake label, fairly clean that one. So, Mr. Vinylizer, this might find its way down to your neck of the woods. Little birdie told me that you had a bit of a poor, not, not the best condition copy, so this one's lovely. And I went and I picked this up because, again, this is a band I am trialling, if you like, as well. Metal Mickey sent me my first album of theirs recently. Um, what the devil's it called? Something to do with the wolves. Uh, lock up the wolves, that's the one. <coughs> and the charity shop had this one. The last in line, deal. Um, again, great condition. Uh, I like the artwork, it's kind of interesting. It's some kind of demon type thing and uh, kind of zombie type things, people down here, I don't know, very apocalyptic looking. So, the inner sleeve, the glorious 80s, the glorious 1980s. It'd be great if we could go back to the, the very moment that picture was taken. And pictures of the band members, 
<coughs> so at this time you had um, Vivian Campbell's on this one, I believe. <laughs> I don't know, it does tell you somewhere, I'm sure it does. Aye. Ronnie James Dio, Vinnie Apis or Apis, um, Jimmy Bain and Vivian Campbell and Claude Schnell. So, yeah, uh, as I say, I am unfamiliar with the deal. It may be that when I put it on, I may recall, oh, I remember that song, you know, and not really realise that it was deal at the time. I don't know. Vertigo, Sunset. Uh, again, lovely condition. So I was quite excited to, to grab that. Uh, so that's two deals I've got. Uh, I've still not listened to the CD yet. I've got a big bundle on the, and the bundle's getting bigger of stuff to play. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll be playing both of those very soon actually. So this one was nice and cheap as well. I thought I'll grab this Pat Benatar. Uh, this is Crimes of Passion and um, this is 1980 this one. Again it's in very good conditions, it's just a minor scuff there but nothing to worry about. Um, it's just has a plain error and it's on the Chrysalis label. Now I was looking at the track listed on this and interestingly enough, on side two you've got, she does a cover of Wuthering Heights from Kate Bush, so I have no idea how that's going to sound, I must admit. I know the song, I know the Kate Bush version, but you've got um, Hell is for Children on here, How to With Your Best Shot, You Better Run, and um, Prisoner of Love. I'm not familiar with the songs on side two, off the top of my head. But we'll soon find out. So, um, because that was just a three pound, I'll just snap it up because I like Pat Benatar. And I grabbed this as well because this was another three pound, and I thought, oh, I'm just going to buy this. Um, remind myself of all of you know. I mean, most people should know these guys. This is Air Supply. Um, and it's actually a compilation, I think, Making Love the Very Best Of, um, but it was like £3. I thought, yeah, I recall Air Supply, um, and that is the track listing. I don't know how well you can make that out or how sharp or clear it is. Um, and this has more nostalgia, actually. It has the original John Menzies price tag on it for £5.49 it was, but I got it for less than that today. Um, and again, <coughs> plain in our, this is on Arista, this one, and I think this compilation is 1983, yeah, and again the record is in lovely condition, all the records are in really nice condition. So, you know, I thought, oh, I want that but now and give it a spin, and if I decide I don't want to keep it, I will pass it on. And then I saw this one. Black Sabbath Bob Rules. This is my first Black Sabbath album. Um, and then I saw, okay, and I looked at the back and I thought, okay, this is a Ronnie James Dio one. Um, which I was quite excited about because personally I'm not a massive fan of Ozzy Osbourne, um, but I, I don't think he's the best singer in the world. His voice um, gets to me after a while, but you know, I do like some of his stuff, obviously. Um, I've got Wizard of Oz and the Randy Rhodes tribute, um, you know, and Ozzy's a legend anyway, obviously. <laughs> but um, I was really pleased to, uh, to discover Dio on this one with the the deal thing I'm doing the now. So, and this I believe is 1981. I think it's an original press. Um, I, I need to officially go and double check the details, but it's um, Vertigo 6302119. Yeah. Uh, 
Do, 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 do. Geezer Butler, Ronnie James, Dio, Tony Iommi, <coughs> and um, that guy again, Vinny Apice on drums. <laughs> so yeah, um, and our sleeve is even in lovely condition. It's just a plain one, but again, it's the uh, Vertigo Sunset label. Again, and again, um, you know, it's just a bit dusty, but there does not appear to be any horrible nasties anywhere. I can't really see any scratches. So, you know, um, that was a fiver. I'll just grab that. So, first Black Sabbath. Kind of a bit like Deep Purple in that, you know, I've been aware of these bands for a long time, but... Um, I just never kind of looked into them very much because I was kind of, they were kind of almost before me um, in my period of growing up in the 80s <clears throat> for the most part. And the last one I picked up is this one by a band called Gamma. Not to be confused with Gamma Ray, <laughs> obviously. Um, so I have no real clue about this band except that Ronnie Montrose is in the band. And this is a 1980 record, um, it's just album number one, they have an album number two and an album number three and I don't know if there's a four, I think it might be a four. Um, so, again, lovely condition, I thought I would pick it up and give it a go. So this is a blind buy, um, again it's in fabulous condition, it is barely a mark, no splits on the inner. It's a slight mark on the bottom, but it's not a split. Uh, and this one, this is the thickest record out of them all actually, even though it's not 180 gram. Um, this one is on Electra. Yeah, there we go, Electra. Uh, red label. So, Thunder and Lightning, I'm Alive, Razor King, No Tears. Solar Heat, Ready for Action, Fight to the Finish, uh, which I was. So there's actually eight, there's eight tracks all together um, for each side and I don't know much about them now. The <coughs> there are we. Here we are. Gamma, the personnel are Ronnie Montrose on guitars, Jim Alkyte, Alkivar, Alkivar, I don't know, synthesizers, Davey Patterson on vocals, Fitz on bass guitar, and Skip Gillette or Gillette percussion. So there you go. It's been described as a bit of an AOR type of sounding thing, this, um, according to um, what I was reading on. Uh, was it from Wikipedia? Thanks, Mark G with a C for the info. <clears throat> so that is basically that. Um, again, there's, a, there's another couple I could have picked up as well, but no, 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 no. I have to put a stop to that. So that's probably, um, I am waiting on one coming in from overseas. It's a, it's a new, well, it's, a, it's a, a reissue thing, but it's coming in from Germany. <clears throat> And a couple other albums came in yesterday, so um, I'll show them in a separate video, and that will be my spending for this month completely done. <coughs> and besides, I've got plenty to listen to anyway. So that is that. Um, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, I shall see you in another video. Bye bye.